Hey, I'm Charlie Miller. I'm here to talk to you about a flaw I found in the way iPhone handles code signing. So, code signing is important is because that's the way that the iPhone protects you from malware. So, all the apps that you have on your phone have to go through the App Store. And at the App Store, they have a chance to check it, make sure it doesn't do anything bad. And then, when your app, the apps you download from there, you can trust are safe because Apple's looked at them. And they can't change what they do or do anything different. The flaw I found allows apps that are in the App Store to download new code and run it even if it's not signed and even if it hasn't been checked by Apple. So, uh, so you can imagine downloading a, a nice app like Angry Birds, but instead of just being Angry Birds, it actually can download and do anything at once, and Apple would have no idea that that happened. So let's take a look and see how this works. So the first thing we have to do is download the app from the App Store. Now this app uh, is a stock market app that I wrote that first thing it does is it checks in with an attacker server to see if there's any code it should download and run. So here we've installed it and let's run it. So this first time we run it, there it, it checks in but there's nothing for it to download and install. So it runs just like uh, it was supposed to and this is exactly the experience that the people at the Apple Store got when they were reviewing it. So uh, it doesn't do anything weird or funny, um, it just shows you the stocks. You can see here that it was checking in for the library to download and run, but there was none. So let's try it again, but this time we're going to replay, we're going to set some code there for it to download and run. Remember, this is code that is unsigned, um, Apple's never had a chance to review it, um, and yet it's going to run on this iPhone. So uh, let's download and install it again. I only check for the payload when you first run it for the very first time. So uh, this time we run it, and as you can see, something different happens than last time. So again, this is code that, that was not reviewed, and uh, it could have done anything. Uh, and, and so it, it gets around the, the processes built into the App Store to stop this. Here's another payload I have that the app can download and run. And this one's a little worse and uh, something Apple didn't have a chance to, to review and they definitely would never have approved it if they would have seen it. So here, uh, again, we're going to just download the app from the App Store. Installs. And we're going to run it. And then you'll notice that when I ran it, it opened up a shell on the attacker system it allows the attacker to do whatever they want so so here's some direct a directory listing process listing you can even do physical things with the phone like make it vibrate and as you can see you know the user doesn't know anything's going on it just looks like the normal app um, uh, I can I can grab any file I want so here is, for example, the address book I can download. So I just download the address book. So you can see it's pretty, it's a payload that uh, shouldn't be allowed to run on the iPhone. It shows that malware can run on the iPhone with this flaw, and uh, Apple is going to fix this flaw, and then we'll be back in the case where we'll be pretty protected because of the App Store. Thanks.